Hello, yes, Dean Summers, it's me, Charlie McAvoy. I received your acceptance letter, but there seems to be a mistake. Like, it says right here that I have not been accepted to Falsk University. But that must be a mistake, right? Because in my interview, I was told that I was a shoo-in. Yeah, I know Howard has been fired for student favoritism and failure to display a valid teaching diploma upon request, but I think that my shoe-in status should still apply. See, I'm going to level with you here. I came from a broken home. Like one remote kind of shit. Yeah. I had to leave my bedroom to go get the remote from the living room if I wanted to change the channel. I was promised a chance to show your school that I could be a doctor. I guess doctors don't matter to you, do they, Mr. Summers? Come on, man, this was my chance to prove to my family that the steadiness of the hand isn't what makes a surgeon. It's perseverance that matters most. Money is no issue for me. If you need money, if money's what you want, name your price. I will pay anything for the chance to be admitted. My parents have plenty of money they can spare. I'll fund anything the school needs. And then, when I graduate, I would praise your passion and forgiveness. And then, I would say to the world proudly, I got my degree at Falsk University. And you will help this surgeon get into an operating room. I'll tell everyone that you helped me get into an operating room. Obviously this is useless. Why should I even try to become a surgeon? You don't believe in me. You never believed in me. Is it because I have a 2.0 GPA? Is it because of all the days I missed in high school? Because I brought in notes on the very last day of school for every single day that I missed. You know what? I don't even care about becoming a surgeon. If I wanted to be a surgeon, I would be a surgeon right now. I would already be a surgeon. I wouldn't have to wait for your approval. It's not like I have several stuffed animals I've already done surgery on or anything. With little tiny casts that I made. <laughs> if I wanted to be a surgeon, I am gonna be a surgeon. I don't need you. I don't need you to become a surgeon. I could just start a practice right here in my garage. If I wanted to, I could practice surgery right here in my garage. And, and I wouldn't even have to charge very much. I wouldn't charge very much. I would charge far less than you would have to get at a hospital. And then people would come flocking to me. They would come and they would, they would buy from me. They would, I would, I would give them discount surgeries. Come on, man. My parents are only giving me money because I'm going to school. They're gonna cut me off. They're gonna cut me off if I stop going to school. And then I wouldn't be able. 
I wouldn't be able to do this. Who am I kidding? Without them, I can't even afford sutures in this economy. Well, it's official. You've broken me. I didn't earn my spot, and I guess I have to accept that. Maybe it's fate. Maybe I'm not fated to be a surgeon. Maybe I was meant for greater things, perhaps. Perhaps I could be something bigger than stupid little false university. I'm going to be so much bigger than all of you. Maybe I'll be a lawyer or a teacher or... Yeah, I don't know. I could be anything. I don't need this stupid university. Hey. Benjamin Farstead. I... I, I believe that, that I may have made a mistake. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it doesn't appear to be my name on the letter. Uh, which, which mostly means you made a mistake. You sent the letter to the wrong address. So, uh, it's, it's all good with you, uh. I'd, I'd appreciate if you just, you just held on to that, just hold on to that, uh, message that I sent and, uh, delete it. Yeah, just get rid of this. Get rid of this whole message. Um, just ignore it. It's, it's nothing. Nothing to worry about, you know? <laughs> we all make mistakes. You made a mistake. I made a mistake. It's just... Um, it's just something we can just, you know, ignore. We'll just leave it. <laughs> Sorry if I seemed a little cross. Um, if I got a little overwhelmed. Insulted you and your university and everything else. It's just, I get, I get stra- <laughs> Um, mm, it's- Really messed that one up, didn't I? Harrison, remind me to rescind Charlie McAvoy's acceptance letter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We have more videos on the way. There's another video in front of you, so you can always take another peek.